watch Sonia Alhoiser at work, and you'll be surrounded by the sweet aroma of chocolate. Alhoiser always has at least 400 kilograms of chocolate stored away in her Berlin studio. Here, she's turning milk chocolate into the head for a large sculpture. Depending on the type of chocolate I sometimes reach in and have a taste, you just can't say no, because it still smells wonderful even after 10 years. The artist has to work fast. The consistency of the chocolate changes as the minutes tick by. That's what I find so fascinating. You only have limited time to do the work. So it's also about speed, about your response time. You have to really hurry to get it done. Several freezers are dotted around her studio. This is where the artist stores some of her smaller Chaco works. The large sculptures are always created on site, like this horse from 1997, her first sweet sculpture. Since then, she's exhibited in museums the world over. All of her works eventually meet the same fate. They're eaten by the visitors. If you think about food having a sell-by date, and then look at our own lifespan, there are definite parallels. I'm interested in teasing out that element and then making it accessible for consumption. We can admire it and exhibit it, but afterwards, we eat it. Her next edible feast will be presented at a Chicago museum. On this large piece of paper, she's sketched out all the delicacies she wants to tempt her audience with. Everything will be eaten, even the plates and glasses made from caramelized sugar. Sonia is now casting hundreds of sculptures out of chocolate or delicate marzipan. I'll nibble away at a female figure or a male figure or two or three different ones. It's kind of playful. It's like a game of the sexes and of seduction and nibbling away at them. A sweet temptation that even the artist finds hard to resist. That's true.